In this video I'm going to show you how to integrate 1 over any quadratic function ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b and c are constants. We'll start by integrating simple ones and then we'll gradually extend it through a series of examples so that we can integrate any function of this form 1 divided by a quadratic function. So we'll start with the simplest possible one here 1 divided by x squared plus 1 dx and you may know that the derivative of arctan of x is 1 over 1 plus x squared, so we could just uh, straight away write down the answer here that this is arctan of x, or if you wanted to do it more directly, I suppose, as an with an integration method here, we could make a substitution, x equals tan u, then we've got dx by du equals sec squared u, so when we make the substitution here, we have 1 over tan squared u plus 1 times sec squared u du, swapping dx with uh, sec squared u du there, and you know that 1 plus tan squared u is uh, sec squared u, so this is the integral of 1 over sec squared u times sec squared u du, so they cancel out, we've just got the integral of 1 du then, which is a u uh, plus our arbitrary constant, but x is tan u, so u is arc tan x plus c. And now we're going to use that result to be able to integrate any function of this form just by uh, slight extensions. So let's start with 1 over x squared plus a number that's not 1, so let's go for 4 here. Um, if you make the substitution x equals 2u, then we see that x squared is 4u squared, so this integral becomes 1 divided by 4u squared plus 4, and we have dx by du equals 2, so I can swap dx with a 2 times du, and that gives me then that this is equal to, well I've got a factor of 4 on the bottom here, but also 2, so I can pull out overall a factor of a half here, times u squared plus 1 du, and we know that the integral of 1 over u squared plus 1 uh, du from the first example is arctan u plus c and so putting this back in terms of x we have arctan x over 2 plus c 1 half arctan x over 2 plus c by the way I hope it's clear throughout this that arctan is just another notation for tan inverse or you know sometimes people instead of writing uh, arc tan, write it as you know, uh, u, write it as tan inverse u like that. Now I did 1 over x squared plus 4 here, but you could do 1 over x squared plus any other number. And I've just said 1 over x squared plus a squared dx here then would be 1 over a arc tan x over a plus c. You can follow through this argument with uh, a squared here instead of 4 and just see um, how that would uh, how that would go through. So we'd have uh, a squared, a squared, this would just be a, so I'd end up with an a here, and so uh, I would end up with a here, a here, and a here, which establishes this result. And it's just worth noticing that, I, although I've used a squared uh, in, the, in the formula here, it doesn't have to be an exact square number, I could have 1 over x squared plus 7 as well, and the same result would give me that this integral is 1 over the square root of 7, arctan x over the square root of 7 plus c. This next example then, 1 over x minus 2 squared plus 9, we've got a slightly more tricky denominator to deal with, and the quadratic is in completed square form, and that's going to be useful to us, because here I can substitute u equals uh, x minus 2, and I've got du by dx equals 1, so the conversion factor for the substitution is easy. And when I make the substitution, that gives me 1 divided by u squared plus 9 du which is then uh, exactly in the form of the previous example, or you could make this a uh, further substitution, u equals 3 times v or something, but we can just know this is exactly the same form as the previous example we just had, so this is 1 over 3 arctan u over 3 plus c, but I'd really like the answer back into x, so I get 1 third arctan, and u is x minus 2, so that's x minus 2 over 3 plus c. And again, you can see that this result easily generalizes 
if I've got a different number than 2 here, say A, then uh, really I just have A here and here. It doesn't really affect the argument until I substitute it back in over here. So 1 over x minus a squared plus b squared dx is 1 over b arctan x minus a over b plus c. But of course if the quadratic is an incompleted square form we can just put it in completed square form. Uh, so we've got x squared plus 6x plus uh, 14 here. You can check that that's equal to x plus 3 squared plus 5. And so here I've got a is minus 3 and b is the square root of 5, so I get 1 divided by the square root of 5 times arctan of x plus 3 divided by the square root of 5 plus c. So what else can happen? Well, if I complete the square here, 1 over x squared plus 4x minus 3, I get 1 over x plus 2 squared minus 7. So it's not quite the same form, so I've got a minus here uh, instead of a plus. But we can do the same sort of thing, so if I let u equals uh, x plus 2 here, then I get 1 over u squared minus 7 du, because du by dx equals 1, and we don't have to worry about the conversion factor. And then if we say u equals the square root of 7 times v, then this gives us 1 over 7 v squared minus 7 times the square root of 7 uh, dv, uh, which is 1 over the square root of 7 times the integral of 1 over v squared minus 1 dv. So it's basically the same as what we did before, except I've got this minus instead of a plus here. But if we notice that this is 1 over v minus 1 v plus 1 dv, we can then write that in partial fractions and we get a factor of a half, uh, so 1 over 2 root 7 now, and you can check that it comes out to be 1 divided by v minus 1 here, minus 1 over v plus 1 dv. So doing uh, these integrations then we get 1 over 2 root 7 times log of v minus 1 minus log of v plus 1 and that's 1 over 2 root 7 log v minus 1 over v plus 1. So if we just unpick the substitutions we made earlier we had uh, we've got v equals u over the square root of 7 and u was x plus 2 so v is x plus 2 over the square root of 7 so if we put that in here, you can check that that simplifies down to 1 over 2 root 7 ln x minus 2 minus root 7 uh, over x plus 2 plus root 7 and um, the divided by root 7 from here has just been multiplied through top and bottom uh, so you can just check that uh, that works but I've just substituted uh, v equals x plus 2 over 7 and so I've got my answer back in terms of x. So almost the same as the previous example, but uh, when I got to this point, it wasn't an arctan integral, it required uh, partial fractions. Okay, so that's the hard part done. We've seen that if we put it in partial fractions and we get something squared plus a number squared, we can use arctan, and if we ended up with a minus something squared here, we can use that partial fractions method. I'm just going to do two more examples for completeness. So for example here, uh, the quadratic is uh, an exact square, 1 over x plus 2 squared dx and we just note that that can be tackled by the ordinary reverse chain rule so we get minus x plus 2 to the minus 1 here plus c or you could write that if you want as minus 1 over x plus 2 uh, plus c a much easier integral and the final case I want to consider is if it's not a monic quadratic well that's easy enough to deal with because I can just pull out a factor to make it a monic quadratic. So I've got 2x squared here, so I can just say, okay, this is a half times 1 over x squared plus 4x minus 3 dx, and then go do exactly the same thing as we uh, did before here to do the 1 over x squared plus 4x minus 3 dx. In fact, it is exactly the same integral uh, we did earlier, so I'll just write down that that's 
a half times 1 over 2 root 7 uh, mod x plus 2 minus root 7 over x plus 2 plus root 7 and perhaps I'll simplify this into 1 over 4 root 7 okay so um, you can now hopefully integrate the reciprocal of any quadratic